Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying an exponential expression, a numerical exponential expression. We have 2 to the power 20 minus 2 to the power 19 minus 2 to the power 18. And we're going to write this in the simplest form. I'll be presenting three methods and let's start with the third one because the third one is the worst. Okay. Something that you will probably never use. So for my third method, I do the following. I evaluate each one of these numbers and that's not too hard. For example, 2 to the power 20 is 2 to the power 10 squared and 2 to the power 10 is 1024. If you square that number, you get 1,048,576. Easy, right? Sort of. Well, if you remember 24 squared is 576, that'll probably be a little easier to remember. Anyways, that is the 2 to the power 20 and then 2 to the power 19 is just that divided by 2 and that's going to be 524,288. And the third one, 2 to the power 18, is half of 2 to the power 19, which is 262,144. I want you to pay attention to this number because this is a special number. All right? Cool. And then what do we do? We subtract 2 to the power 20 minus 2 to the power 19 minus 2 to the power 18, which is 1,048,576 minus 524,288 minus 262,144. And the result is going to be 262,144. That's why I told you that is such a special number. Okay, now here is the second method. I'm going to do everything backwards today, all right? I hope you don't mind. I know some people don't like this, but first, second, third, we're going to do it backwards. Second method. Well, it's kind of nice because second method is done the second. So we have 2 to the power 20, 2 to the power 20 minus 2 to the power 19. And I apologize for my handwriting. I guess I'm rushing. Now, here's what I'm going to do. The greatest common factor here is 2 to the power 18. So why not take it out? It's a common technique like factoring, right? And we just use factoring. So if you do that, we're going to get the following. And before I do that, allow me to break this down first. 2 to the power 20 can be written as 2 to the power 18 plus 2. 2 to the power 19 can be written as 2 to the power 18 plus 1. And 2 to the power 18 is just 2 to the power 18. Now, we can go ahead and break this down. 2 to the 18 times 2 to the second, 2 to the 18 times 2 to the first, minus 2 to the 18 times 1. Now, 2 to the power 18, you can see clearly that it's the greatest common factor. So I can take it out. And inside the parentheses, we have everything uh, left, whatever is left. We got 2 squared minus 2 to the first minus 1. And that is equal to 2 to the power 18 times 4 minus 2 minus 1. Something interesting about powers of 2, we'll talk about it briefly. 4 minus 2 equals 2 and 2 minus 1 equals 1. So this is 2 to the power 18 times 1, which is the same thing as 2 to the power 18. You can leave it at that or just like the first method, you can, I mean the third method, the one that I have done first, 262,144. Either way is fine. It's going to be the answer. Make sense? Okay. So we did the third, we did the second. Now we're supposed to do the first method. Let's do the first method because that is the coolest. Okay. And it involves a little bit of algebra, which is also fun. So the original problem is the following, 2 to the 20 minus 2 to the 19 minus 2 to the power 18. If you know of any other methods, by the way, please let me know and don't forget to comment. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract these two first, but I'm going to do it in a smarter way. So how about looking at a more general case like 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 2 to the power n. 2 to the power n plus 1 can be written as 2 to the power n times 2 minus 2 to the power n. So you kind of have like two apples and you're taking away one of the apples and then you end up with a single apple or you can write it as 2 to the power n. If you don't see it, then you can go ahead and factor out 2 to the n and that'll give you 2 minus 1, which is the same thing as 1. So it is going to be again 2 to the power n. So when we subtract 2 to the power n plus 1 and 2 to the n, we get 2 to the n the smaller number. Make sense? Okay, great. So let's go ahead and work it out. 
2 to the power 20 minus 2 to the power 19 minus 2 to the power 18. These two numbers will give us the smaller number, which is 2 to the power 19. And then we're going to subtract 2 to the 18 from it, but it's going to give us the smaller number by the rule we just talked about, and that is going to be 2 to the power 18. And remember, hopefully you memorized this by now, 262,144 as the answer. Now, let me tell you what is going on with the powers of 2. If you subtract, start with a high power of 2 and subtract the consecutive powers, the answer is always a power of 2. And it's also true if you just add them. For example, start with 1. Okay, not necessarily true. If you add powers of 2, something else happens. And I believe we're going to talk about this in another video. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Tomorrow? I think so, yeah. Tomorrow with another video. Tomorrow with two other videos. Anyways, until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.